Welcome everybody. This is another short tutorial by Dark Law. Today we're covering the safe operating procedures and the disassembly and reassembly of the Glock semi-automatic firearm. This one is a Glock Model 22. It is a 40 caliber. Uh, it's what most police across the country carry. That's a duty weapon. Um, as always, treat every weapon as if it's loaded. Um, anytime you pick up a weapon, you want to make sure it's empty. The basic parts of this, obviously the magazine release, it's a small button, operate it with your thumb. We'll drop that. Magazine's empty. Now we'll check the chamber. Um, pull it back and use the slide lock. It will catch the slide in an open position. We can visually inspect and get in a habit of physically inspecting as well. It just takes a second as soon as you pull it back. Okay, I don't have a round in there. I'm good to go. We can now move on to breaking it down. Um, you notice these little buttons on the side. It's on both sides of the Glock here. Um, they're little buttons under a little bit of spring tension. So what we want to do is take the tension off of the guide rod spring in here. And to do that, the easiest is, almost like a shooting grip, get an overhand grip on the slide. Barely pull it back, as you can see. You don't have to pull it back much. Um, but do be careful of the uh, chamber. It will grab your fingers if you're not careful. But uh, push both buttons down, same time, and then just let the tension off the slide go. You'll notice that it slightly moves forward, and all we have to do, pull the trigger, the slide will come off of the weapon. You know, now have a basic polymer frame, trigger components inside of it. Um, I wouldn't recommend messing with these unless you know what you're doing, if you're a Glock armor or um, are familiar with it. Um, this is how you set the tension and various things there. Um, you can take a toothbrush or a um, little cleaning kit and you can cover some of these metal parts. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of residue underneath these channels here. Um, give it a very light cleaning, uh, maybe even just a touch of lube in some of these parts, the metal on metal. But you can set that aside for the most part. The slide um, has very few parts that you're going to be servicing or disassembling. Your basic piece, the slide, a guide rod with a spring, and then a barrel underneath it. To take this out, just pop it off, comes right off. Not under a lot of tension there. And then you have the barrel here. This just comes straight out. Very simple. A lot of people think it's hard to take a gun apart, but that's why I love the Glock. It's very simple, very quick. You now have just a skeletonized version of the slide here. Um, again, back here, you have your firing pin and different pieces. You will not need to mess with unless you know what you're doing. Um, give it a, uh, again, give it a light cleaning. Uh, maybe a little bit of lubricant under these rails or the channels that run the length of the slide uh, because that's going to be functioning on our metal rails here. So again, light cleaning, get in there by the firing pin in the chamber. To reassemble, we literally just do, redo what we just undid. We'll drop the barrel in. It will look just like it does when it's on the weapon in this piece. Take a guide rod. You're going to pop it into this little hole is where it's going to sit. And with just a little bit of tension, push it forward and you'll notice two little slots by the barrel here. Um, it will fall into one of those. Make sure that it's level, you know that it's in place. Everything's good to go. The uh, channels here on the slide are going to match up with the rails. We just slide it back on. And as if we were chambering around, pull it all the way back. Do a couple function tests. Make sure you don't hear any snags. It's not getting caught on any piece of it. And, um, and then obviously in a safe direction, we know it's unloaded, but still in a safe direction, a trigger test. Okay, my weapon is now functioning. And uh, you're good to go. That is the basic disassembly, reassembly of the Glock. Um, the Glock 23. Again, we have an empty weapon. Um, same thing, exact same thing. You pull it back, push the button, pull the trigger, comes off. We have the exact same pieces here. Reassembly after cleaning. And we're good to go. Um, all Glocks will function the same. Uh, they're all designed the same. The only difference is obviously caliber and the size. Um, I hope that's giving you a little bit of insight into the Glock semi-automatic firearm, 
And if you don't have a Glock, I recommend getting one. See you next time.